I'm excited to walk you through a really easy way to deploy Ansible automation platform on Azure using a collection from our Ansible Content Lab. This collection allows you to deploy Azure infrastructure using Terraform and then be able to run the AAP installer on your created infrastructure and have Ansible automation platform ready to be used. Let me show you what that's like. On the collection readme right here, it details out a set of prerequisites you need to set up before running the script to get you going with Ansible automation platform. I cloned the repository, CD'd into the right directory, and made sure to have Terraform installed locally in that directory. Since I'm on Mac, I used brew install to get that ready. Make sure to have your Azure credentials set up either locally by setting up your environment variables right here, or use the command az login on your local Azure CLI. Now that I'm in my project repository housing the collection, I have Terraform installed locally, I've connected to my Azure subscription, I can now run the script to generate my AAP controller and hub VMs and prepare to install Ansible Automation Platform. I run Terraform init, and now I'll go ahead and run Terraform apply. This will generate the Azure infrastructure. I have different public and private keys that are different from the default IDRSA, so I just added that as part of an extra VARS addition to the Terraform apply script. I also added a new resource group name to the script as an extra VARS as well. Terraform Apply requires you to set up the passwords you'd like to log in with your controller, as well as your Red Hat account. Resources are now generated under my Azure portal under the created resource group name. We have to SSH into the controller and hub VMs and attach the subscriptions. Now we SSH into the controller VM using the public IP, and then I run the subscription manager list command to be able to list the subscriptions under this account. You wanna make sure you're attaching the subscription by SSHing into both the controller and hub VMs using the generated public IPs. Since I'm using my internal Red Hat account, I can go ahead and skip this step. But for external customers, you wanna make sure you complete the subscription attachment steps. I run the sudo setup SH script and include the inventory Azure inventory that was created through the Terraform infrastructure creation. And now AP is installed. I can go into the controller public IP and put in my username and password. Final step is to pull in your Ansible automation platform subscription using your Red Hat login. And here we are. We're able to see the dashboard and it was really easy. I was able to set up my infrastructure, run Ansible automation platform, access it all from my command line.